Dragon's Dogma 2 hasn't hooked me, and I'm trying to figure out why that is. Normally, I like big open world games. From the stupidity that is the Saints Row franchise to the expansiveness that is Horizon Zero Dawn and Elden Ring. But there's something about Dragon's Dogma 2 that just isn't hooking me, and I want to explore why that is. I have only put in about 10 hours to the game so far, so do take everything with a grain of salt. And as a bit of a preface, I haven't played much of Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, so so I'm not really going to make a comparison between the two because I don't know enough of that game. I think the biggest reason for Dragon's Dogma 2 not hooking me is the story and characters. Starting with the story, I haven't found a single thing about the story that makes me care. Why do I want or need to take the throne back from the queen? I'm an amnesiac and just because I'm arisen doesn't mean I'll be a good king. I just feel like the game hasn't established any of those like really high stakes reasons for me to invest into the game and its story. And every single one of the characters I've met so far just isn't memorable and their lip syncing a lot of the time is not great. Like I don't remember a single name of a character in Dragon's Dogma 2. I played the game last night on stream at twitch.tv slash the Sandman King, and I remember what I did last night, generally. I collected some gold and potions and gave it to a kid at the church. I went to a place and killed some monsters to help a caravan or something, or like just a group of guards. I broke into the queen's office and met the prince. I talked to the guard captain a lot. I went to Melv to deliver a letter and fight the dragon. But I don't remember a single fucking name of the people I talked to that whole time. I don't know what the guard captain's name is. I don't even remember what the kid's name is. And, and therein lies a problem with Dragon's Dogma 2. When you're creating a story with like supposed to be political intrigue and things like that, you need memorable characters between the villains and your allies. It is possible to get away with making an RPG without having any memorable characters. Or many memorable characters, I should say. Look at something like Elden Ring, where you really only have, I think, three NPC characters that most people remember. You got Molina, you got Ronnie, and you got Blade. Those are the only three characters that come to mind for me when I think of Elden Ring. But Elden Ring's story isn't focused on doing quests and political intrigue like Dragon's Dogma 2 is. Building up a lot of characters that you love or hate isn't needed in that type of game. But with Dragon's Dogma 2, those types of characters are very important to the story and how players see the game and engage with that story. And it just isn't there. And I think that is probably the weakest part of Dragon's Dogma 2's design. And that's mainly why Dragon's Dogma 2 isn't hooking me. I'm just unable to get invested in the world and the story and the characters because they're all so bland. I think mechanically Dragon's Dogma 2 is really good. I think the combat is fun and the class and pawn systems are interesting, but I feel like the mechanics can't carry the bland story. There are also the performance issues at launch, which is or was a problem depending on when you're watching this video and the microtransactions they included in a single player game. But honestly, I'm more indifferent towards Dragon's Dogma 2. I don't hate it, but I don't really like it. Mechanically, it's good, but the game's writing and storytelling are just so boring and forgettable. And that's all my thoughts on Dragon's Dogma 2 from my first 10 hours of playing the game. Let me know what you think about the game in the comments below. But with that said, I ask you to do all the algorithm things, like subscribe, turn on the bell, and have a royal day.